It's Friday, March 29th, 2024, and welcome to this week's Win of the Week. Folks, we are constantly being bombarded with messages that storms are getting worse and more frequent, but is that true? Well, not according to science. According to a recent study, storms are causing more damage in terms of dollars because more people are moving to storm-prone areas and more infrastructure is being built along the coast. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's own data dating all the way back to 1851, hurricanes just simply are not getting worse. In fact, the NOAA's data also shows hurricanes are getting less severe in terms of central pressure. In its 2023 State of the Science fact sheet titled Atlantic Hurricanes and Climate Change, they specifically stated, quote, Since 1900, there has been no significant trend in annual numbers of U.S. landfalling tropical storms, hurricanes, or major hurricanes. And there's been a decreasing trend since 1900 in the propagation speed of tropical storms and hurricanes over the continental U.S. Climate change is like Bigfoot. Some people swear that it's real, but can never seem to produce anything more than a blurry photo. In reality, climate change is just a scary story told around campfires. It was a dark and extra stormy night. In our next story, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb has signed a third-party litigation financing bill that is designed to block the involvement of potential foreign adversaries in the court system. House Bill 1160 addresses growing concern over foreign influence in U.S. litigation. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Institute for Legal Reform has disclosed instances of dark money funders influencing litigation decisions and the potential for foreign adversaries to covertly finance lawsuits against U.S. insurers and other businesses. This is crazy, right? Now, if only the House Republicans would pass legislation stopping dark money from going to the Biden family. And in our final story, ex-Levi president Jennifer Say has started her own sports apparel company. Why is this a win? Well, Say resigned from Levi in 2020 because of the blowback she received for coming out against the harm being done to children because of the lockdowns. Say is also a very vocal advocate for keeping men out of women's sports. The new company is XXXY Athletics. They've signed on a number of public figures who are outspoken about saving women's sports, such as Riley Gaines and Adam B. Coleman. I'm encouraging all my followers out there to purchase at least one item from their store because not a single big sports brand is helping defend women, and people like you and I can make this a big win. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me, folks. And don't forget, no matter what the corporate press, no matter what the communist Marxists are telling you and bombarding you with, we are winning. Tune in next Friday and every Friday for more wins.